O'Reilly on Trump's disputed call to soldier's widow, whole thing has the look of a setup. After Democrat Florida Rep. Frederica Wilson made false accusations about President Trump, former Fox News host Bill O'Reilly stepped up and suggested the MSM are just using the unsubstantiated claims to attack Trump. On Tuesday, Wilson told multiple media outlets, including CNN, that Trump told the widow of one of the four U.S. servicemen who were killed during an October 4 attack in Niger that he knew what he signed up for, but I guess it still hurt. According to Time magazine, Staff Sergeant Brian Black, Staff Sergeant Jeremiah Johnson, Staff Sergeant Dustin Wright, and Sergeant Law David Johnson were killed, while two others were injured during the attack carried out by more than 50 ISIS-affiliated fighters. Wilson claimed she was present when the call took place between Trump and Maisha Johnson, the widow of Law David Johnson. However, O'Reilly said the situation feels like a setup from the mainstream media to attack Trump. No proof needed for the media which immediately reported the congresswoman's allegations as truth, he wrote on Twitter. O'Reilly suggested the media assumes Wilson is telling the truth and Trump is lying despite no proof being made available to the public. I don't know what was said, and neither does any other member of the press. But this whole thing has the look of a setup, does it not? He asked. Trump denied the claims Wednesday in a series of tweets, suggesting he has proof of what was really said during the phone call. Democrat Congresswoman totally fabricated what I said to the wife of a soldier who died in action, and I have proof. Sad. Trump said. Democrat Congresswoman totally fabricated what I said to the wife of a soldier who died in action, and I have proof. Sad. 6.25 a.m. October 18, 2017 In response to Trump's tweet, Wilson told CNN host Allison Camrota Wednesday on New Day that she stood firm in her claims. I have proof, too, Wilson said. This man is a sick man. Wilson claimed that Johnson's widow broke down after her phone call with Trump because she said the president didn't even know his name. I have no reason to lie, too the President of the United States with a dead soldier in my community. I have no time, I have no motive, she added, as reported by The Hill, explaining that she was the elementary school principal of Johnson's father and knew the family. Of course, even Wilson admitted that she didn't hear the entire conversation. When pushed to be more specific, Wilson added, she just can't remember everything that he, Trump, said. But that stood out in everyone's heart on the call. You don't say that. On Wednesday, White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders blasted Democratic Representative Frederica Wilson's criticism of the president's call to a fallen soldier's widow as appalling and disgusting, even as the congresswoman stood by her account. Sanders stated, I think it's appalling what the congresswoman has done and the way she's politicized this issue and the way that she's trying to make this about something that it isn't. Sanders defended the president's tone by adding, This was a president who loves our country very much, who has the greatest level of respect for men and women in their uniform and wanted to call and offer condolences to the family. And I think to try to create something from that that the congresswoman is doing is frankly appalling and disgusting. The sentiment of the president was very clear, Sanders said. He took time to make a call to express his condolences to thank the family for this individual's service. And I think it frankly is a disgrace of the media to try to portray an act of kindness like that and that gesture and to try to make it into something that it isn't. Amen. I guess Democrats like Frederica Wilson needed something to divert or deflect the recent news of their large Democratic donor and sexual pervert Harvey Weinstein. Or maybe Democrats had to create some news to deflect from all of the criminal activity like extortion, bribery, money laundering involved in the Uranium One deal with Hillary Clinton and Obama. Well, that is what Democrats do best isn't it? They like to distract or shift the public's attention away from the real news like Uranium One and Harvey Weinstein. That's right. Why doesn't Frederica Wilson talk about the crimes committed by her own party members, Clinton? Obama, Mueller, and others, involved in the Uranium One deal that put our nation's national security at risk. Or here's another clue. 
Maybe Frederica Wilson's time would be better spent looking into the real murder of Bernie Wissonnet who was investigating real voter fraud and real passport fraud in southwest Florida, Florida.